States, in Israel and Palestine. Even Australian radio wanted Bob to explain what's up in New Jersey. But of all the interviews and appearances that we do, our visits to universities are the ones we care about most. As university students, you offer New Jersey its best hope for change. I know you thought you just came here to listen and ask questions, and we will do that. But we're going to lay this assignment on you. Read The Soprano State from cover to cover. And I understand it is in the library if you don't want to buy them. Check the corruption updates on our website, www.thesopranostate.com. Watch the upcoming documentary, which, in which is in production now, of the Soprano State. And then go out there and make it better. That's the only way the corrupt government in this state is going to change. When we were on MY9 TV in Secaucus, Bob explained how students were our best hope for change. On the air, we recalled how a professor in another university, which we won't name at the moment, challenged us on the picture of New Jersey that we painted in, in the Soprano State. A pollster in the crowd jumped up to defend us. But the poignant moment came when a student spoke up. He said, it is that bad. He said, I work for government in one of New Jersey's largest cities, and I'm trying to do the right thing. But he said, every day I'm confronted with a system that wants those inside to play the corruption game. And every day is a battle to do the right thing. And that's where you come in. Associated Press CEO Tom Curley called the Soprano State a page turner. He said you'll start out laughing and end up pounding the table for reform. Investigative reporting, the fabric of this book, offers some hope for citizens because it exposes what hurts us all and what needs to be reformed. Why is there such a desperate need for reform? Because this state's corruption costs us higher taxes, it costs us good government services, and it costs us our rightful role in a democracy. Bob and I have been around a long time covering New Jersey government. And what that means is that long before the 44 were arrested, we were able to connect the dots, and the picture of New Jersey that emerged was ugly. That's why we call this the Soprano State. The mob is here for sure, but the sadder fact is the government here often acts like the mob. It beats up taxpayers and leaves them somewhere in an alley to fend for themselves. Whether it's local government, county government, or the huge bureaucracy known as state government, taxpayers are getting the shaft, and corruption is tanking the system. And the Soprano State tells that story. Inside its cover, you will find Golan Sapel. I remember standing outside Golan Sapel's State House office and asking where Governor Jim McGreevy's post 9 11 security advisor was. Day after day, he was missing. And day after day, there was another excuse why. At one point, the administration called Bob Engel my boss at the Net New Jersey newspapers and accused me of stalking in the state house. <laughs> Later, we all found out that the governor's security advisor, according to Governor Jim McGreevy, was his lover. Now, hiring lovers in government is not all that unusual, but making them security advisors for this densely populated state south of New York City, now that's something that's happened nowhere else. But then no state but New Jersey has a governor who paid his old girlfriend, a union leader representing state workers, a reported six million dollars when they broke up. Inside the cover you will also find Republican Essex County Executive Jim Treffinger, who the Fed said hired his hairdresser for a no-show job. And you will find powerful Democratic fundraiser Charles Kushner, who was jailed for New, New Jersey-style witness camp after his relatives decided to help the Fed. 
Kushner hired a hooker to entice his brother-in-law, film the event, and then mailed it to his sister. And inside the cover of the Sopranos state, you will find the mob. Mobster Frank Ventino told us what was really happening the day Governor Brendan Byrne told the mob to keep its filthy hands off Atlantic City. The mob was already there. This book is funny at times, thanks to Bob. But it is dead serious about the price taxpayers pay for